when you look at fitness content these days, it's jack bodies, buff guys, ripped girls, super nice cars, beautiful vacations, the biggest mansions you've ever seen. And it almost seems like a lifestyle that's full of vanity and superficial appearances. Now, I don't knock anybody that has achieved any of this. Everyone has worked super hard to get to where they're at. Everyone is not only an athlete, but also an entrepreneur these days. And they had to put in tons of work of managing their business, their life, and putting on two hats. One being the guy that trains like an athlete and the other person that is the CEO of their entire enterprise to achieve what we see on these social media platforms. But for me, when I first got into fitness, the fitness content back then was way different. I used to watch Ronnie Coleman, Johnny Jackson, Branch Warren train their fucking ass off, not in nice gyms, but in hardcore warehouse gyms where none of the weights matched, there was dust all over the floor, 110 degree weather, and their clothes weren't the nicest clothes that matched. They were torn, tattered clothes that you know they wore to battle day after day, week after week. And the amount that they pushed each other to the max, where they had sweat dripping down their faces, that ugly struggle, that training, that's what attracted me to fitness. I didn't even see how they lived. I fell in love with how they trained. And that made me want to train. That made me want to push myself to my limits to see what I'm made of and what kind of potential is deep down inside. And because of that, I've adopted that into my training. And since then, Training has always been the first part of my day. Whether it was in college, in the Marine Corps, after I graduated, when I was starting JK, when I was starting Barbell Brigade, training was the first and the hardest part of my day. Every single morning I wake up and I put my body through hell, through pain, through struggle. And because of that, because I got the hardest part of my day out of the way, everything else is easy. So in this next generation that comes in and wants to be a fitness influencer online, remember that no matter how posh, how luxurious your favorite idol's lifestyle is, that they've all put in that hard struggle, that hard work. And it's the journey that is gonna make you who you are, not the destination. And make sure that you fall in love with the journey because the journey will take you to places beyond what you believe are capable of. But if you're married to the destination, then when the going gets tough, you're gonna fall off. So train your fucking ass off and love it.